believe that we are destined for great things and that God has placed inside of our hearts the passions and the desires that we need to carry out our rightful purpose in this life. There is only one challenge and that this world and the stresses and strains of everyday life has placed upon us certain struggles and, and obligations and fears and anxiety. And these have held us down for a long time. I believe further that we settle for less. We settle for what others say about us. We settle for the things that they say that we can do and the things that they say that we cannot do. We, 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 we believe the lies that they tell us, that we don't deserve better, that we don't have a purpose, that we cannot get to our destiny, that we cannot fulfill our life's purpose, that we cannot have any influence or any impact in this life. But I am here to tell you, that's a lie. Those are lies. Today is the day that you can start. You can start to make an impact and an influence in this life. You were created for a purpose. You were created to do great things. You were created to thrive. You were created to prosper. You were created to live above and not beneath. You were created for more. So rise up. Rise up and claim what truly belongs to you. Rise up and take a hold of what is yours. Too long, too long you have lived passive. Too long you have lived beneath. Too long you have lived in depression. Too long you have lived in fear. Too long you have lived in self-doubt. You can make a difference. You can impact the life of others. You can influence change. You can be better. You can live a life of purpose. The one that you were truly created to live. You can rise above. You can be the person that you always dream of becoming. And if you have not even started to dream, now is the right time to start dreaming. You can start dreaming today. You can start dreaming today. You know, many years ago, I was always a dreamer. And I was not just a dreamer. I was a dreamer who spoke my dream out. I was a person who never kept a dream inside of me. Many times I had no one to tell it to. But I would walk and I would tell it to the stones. I would tell it to the, dream, the trees. I would, tell, I would tell it to the shrubs. I would tell it to the passing cars. I would tell it to the atmosphere. Because there is one thing I believed. That when you speak out... You, you call the, 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 the atmosphere, you, you call the, the whole creation, you call everything that hears you to come in alignment with what you have spoken, to conspire to help you. And what, what happens to most of us is that we refuse to speak our dream out. Think about it. What would have happened to Joseph if he didn't speak that dream out? What would have happened to his brothers and his family if he did not speak that dream out? It is okay if you're fearful, but feel the fear and do it anyway. It is okay if you, you're, not, you're not able to find someone to tell at the very moment. There are trees, there are shrubs, there are stones. There's the entire atmosphere that you can tell that dream to. Don't keep it inside of you. Expose it. Purpose is powerful. Purpose needs exposure. 
No one will know what your dream is. No one will be able to help you to get to that dream. No one will be able to do for you what you're not able to do for yourself. So I'm calling you to action. Speak that dream out. Speak it into life. Believe that you can achieve it. Believe that you can do it. Believe that you have the abilities. Believe that you have the talents. And every single day, grow. Do one more thing that will help you to grow and become that person that you always dream of. And if you never dream of who you want to become, start dreaming now. Start dreaming now. Because a dream, when you give it the right energy, it has the ability to change and transform the course of your life. Throughout times and throughout history, men and women, they have dreamt big dreams. They have gone out and they have toiled and they have worked relentlessly and they have seen those dreams come to life. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can become the catalyst for your family. You can break the cycle. You can make a change. But there is only one thing that you have to do. You have to start today. You have to start today. One step at a time. One day at a time. You know, sometimes we believe and we tend to think that. Let's, let me wait on God. God is actually waiting on you to make the first move. And once you make the first move, he will be there to anchor you. He will be there to lift you up. He will be there to uphold you. He will be there to strengthen you because that's what he said. He said, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will help you. I will strengthen you. And I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. And so this is a word for somebody who is still thinking, where should I start? What can I do? How can I get there? It doesn't take a day. It maybe, it maybe will not take a week. It maybe will not take a month. And it maybe will not take a year. But it takes a start. It takes a start. Why not start now? Why not make the move today? Why not make the move today? Thank you for watching. And remember, don't leave without hitting that subscribe button because we are taking a purpose journey and we are doing whatever is necessary to make sure that we not just discover our purpose, but just we walk in it and that we stay anchored in that purpose. You have a great day because remember, the rest of your life is truly the best of your life.